I'm lucky. I have a winch with me, electric winch with me. So I will have to do a self recovery, which is which seems to be the only option. As you can see, this is an electric winch. What we'll have to do is to we have to unlock this and try and pull this out. This is free spool mode, and in order to pull uh, this particular rope, it should be in free spool so that things become quicker. And I've just, with a lot of difficulty, took out the entire cable and found a tree and put around it using a tree trunk protector. Now, I am all alone and all I have is winch and a four-wheel drive low-range gearbox and I have to get out of this mess. This is called winch remote and you can either spool in or spool out using this remote. If you press this side, you'll have to see the instructions are quite uh, easy. If you press this, this is in, that's how it will spool in and it will start pulling you in and to release it, you have to spool out. So it's a pretty simple mechanism, but beware, do not overload the winch, use it intermittently and don't burn it, preserve your winch because you know that in off-road condition, critical off-road conditions, your life may be dependent on it. What I did precisely was to use this remote and slowly spool in and use the throttle modulation and come out slowly, inch, inch myself out of that mess. The golden rule of off-roading is never go out alone. Always have another vehicle with you to help you out of sticky situations. But if you managed to get stuck all by yourself, here are a few things you can do. Get out and dig. Free up the wheels and use the rubber mats for traction. Reduce tire pressures to give your vehicle a bigger contact patch. Rock the vehicle back and forth using first and reverse gear to free up the vehicle. Steer left and right, lock to lock to offset yourself and form another track. Sometimes the best thing to do is call for help and wait.